hello everyone so if you're looking for a low calorie dinner that will help you lose some calories and equally taste so yummy as well stick around and i'll share with you this very yummy recipe that will help you lose some weight load up your system for a very healthy life as well and so in order to come up with this very delicious healthy low calorie dinner which tastes like fried rice if you're someone who loves rice you will love this for sure very healthy with low calorie and your system easily breaks it down this is quinoa quinoas are very healthy and your system easily breaks down help you lose weight if you're looking to lose some weight and maintain a healthy body size so this is one cup of quinoa what you want to do is to wash it right and soak up with some water and set aside so it helps to soften it while you're working with the other ingredients so yeah i'll be using a lot of vegetables in my quinoa i'll be using some carrots so what you want to do is to get one carrot slice into some good little sizes that can get you know how you do fry rice you you, you fry you slice up your your carrots carrots have a lot of fiber and that fiber keeps you full for long that way you don't you you feel so full but it easily breaks down so fast by your system without leaving calories in your system so there's a lot of fiber you want to add a lot of fiber and this is a very good source of fiber so slice the carrots into some good little sizes and you're good to go so voila the second ingredient i'll be using will be zucchinis these are very good as well very filling very healthy will leave your system feeling so full while breaking down so fast by your system that way no calories are stored up you easily lose weight and this is very cleansing it leaves your system so healthy and clean from the inside as well so i'll be using half a zucchini here uh, so you want to slice into some good little sizes and you're good to go so this is it slice up and voila that is it yeah so half a zucchini and the next thing i'll be adding in here will be this pepper so i'll be using half of it so you just this brings in a lot of fiber in here as well so this is all fiber and it brings in a lot of antioxidants into your meal which helps to stimulate your system to lose weight so fast and fiber in these peppers equally help you feel so full and with less calories without you having to eat those high calorie dinners this everything in here is so low calorie yet so filling as well so i'll share with you the benefits at the end but these are my peppers you just want to get the colors you want you can use the the, the green just the green that is fine or you, i love a mix of, of them because they come in with different flavors and make this taste so yummy you want to eat healthy but yummy in the mouth eating healthy shouldn't be boring and this recipe is so yummy these peppers change everything and make it so so nice in the mouth yeah so this is it put it in your plate these are my vegetables as you can see very colorful with different kinds of vegetables to bring in nutrients in my my dish so this is half an onion i'll be adding some onion in here onions too are very healthy they bring in flavor and make everything just taste so good so your food without onion is not real like i don't know how to cook without onions and they are very healthy as well so i'll be using some olive oil remember to use healthy oil so uh, these are two tablespoons of olive oil I'm, i've put in my pot two tablespoons are just okay and mix it so healthy as well because olive oil is a healthy oil you don't want to use bad oil here either you use olive oil or coconut oil or you know so this is my onion in the pot and you just want to steam up the onion too i like to steam up the onion a little bit before adding the other ingredients because it soaks up that olive oil smell i really like cooking a lot with coconut oil so when i'm cooking with olive oil i use my onion to fry the to take the smell a little bit out so that is curry powder have a tablespoon of curry powder have a tablespoon of cayenne pepper a little bit of ginger and garlic one teaspoon of ginger one teaspoon of garlic you add in there not a lot of spice in here but you don't want to put a lot of spice to overpower this thing because the green peppers bring in their own flavor so you basically just need that is the carrot just gently put your ingredients one at a time so the the spice soak into the vegetables and taste good 
so that is it i don't put all at once i put one each ingredient and allow those spice to to get into my vegetables and bring in some taste in it so the, and this is on low heat so yeah this is it my peppers like you gradually just put all the ingredients one at a time and stir in the pot to get those ingredients soaked in your vegetables so they can taste yummy in the mouth yeah so this is it and now i'm adding my quinoa so when you put your quinoa in there don't put water first put it and stir just you know how you're doing fried rice so you know quinoas you want that 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 uh, spice to get into the quinoa this is what you want to do so it soaks in and makes it taste so good don't put water immediately so you just stir for some some time for like five minutes and then before you add in some water so after five minutes this is one cup of quinoa so after five minutes you add in one cup of water as well you don't need a lot of water in here already you see it is wet so one cup of water is going to boil this and cook for you or if you want it really really soft one and a half cup of water but one cup of water is just okay for me it makes it have that fried rice feeling in my mouth so one cup of water you close your pot and allow it for 20 minutes on the fire or the stove wherever you're preparing it on your gas leave it for 20 minutes to cook and after 20 minutes on low heat please on low heat medium heat not too low like medium heat after uh, uh, 20 minutes, you come check your, 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 your stuff and see the consistency. If you want it too dry than this, you can close up the pot a little bit, but I love this consistency. This is my consistency 20 minutes after served in my plate. This is very healthy dinner. If you're looking to stay healthy without putting calories in your system, maintain a healthy body size, lose some calories, these are the kinds of dinner recipes you want to go for. This will help you shred a lot of pounds, IBs, a lot of weight, belly fat, and have your body always in shape. So I get people asking me, Risa, you are fit. What are the kinds of recipes you eat? I decided to share with you some of my recipes. I've been sharing years back. I've been putting one at a time, like once in a while, and you know, I, I'll keep sharing with you. These are some of my recipes, very healthy dinner idea. You don't need to starve yourself to be healthy. You don't need to starve yourself to lose weight. You need to eat the right kinds of foods to foil your system with energy to lose that weight. You don't lose weight by starving, yeah? You lose weight by nourishing your organs to function properly and help you lose that weight while living in nutrients for a healthy life, yeah? So share my videos with your family and friends so we can all stay healthy and looking good. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, what are you waiting for? Feel free to do so now by clicking the red subscribe button you see right below this video so you don't miss any of my uploads. You get to watch them on time as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you and bye.